Hello and welcome to the Praga segment for virtual MSD Live. A massive thank you to everything, everybody sorry, from MSD Live for letting us have this segment, putting on this incredible show for all of us, regardless of the circumstances. And we cannot wait to see all of you back at a race circuit, hopefully next year. You can drive some of these incredible cars. Now, we've got a jam-packed 20 minutes for you here. I am going to be talking to 2020 Brit Car Endurance driver Jack Fabby, a pole position sitter, incredibly fast. I cannot wait to talk to that. Also, we're going to be touching on the guest driver program for 2021 with Praga. We've got some incredible drivers that I think you're just going to have to wait and see who they are, and we'll talk to them later. We've got, you know, 2020 has been an incredible season for Praga. This massive trophy here, you can see, champions of the Brit Car Endurance category. But before all of that, we have got an incredible highlights video from the last round of the Brit Car Championship, and we're going to show that to you just about now. What a weekend, highs and lows of motorsport. Um, as you can see behind me, has resulted in us um, taking the overall championship, which we sort of didn't expect we would be able to do before this round. We just won the Brick Car Championship overall and in class, so it's pretty surreal at the moment. Everything you can imagine all in one season, from ups, downs, laughs, cries, anything you can imagine. Uh, we've been through it this year. Uh, but me and Gemma finished very strong. In order to win the championship, we had to finish a, quite a long way in front of the Ferrari. And the Ferrari was on course to do enough to stop us winning the overall championship. But they, they basically ate their tyres too, too badly and had to do another stop. And it put them out of contention. And it, and that ended, so after a whole season, it comes down to a tyre change and a changeable race conditions. First of all, the racing has been absolutely fantastic. And it's gone, really gone down to the wire. Day. They just did an amazing job and, and brought the trophy home, so we're, we're, um, I'm super proud of that. Yeah, driving with Praga and VR, it's such a good team, it's just um, so much fun. And they all, mechanics have been amazing all year, Vince has been amazing all year, and I, I couldn't have asked for a better team to be honest. 2020, such an incredibly successful year for Praga and VR Motorsport. And speaking of VR Motorsport, I am joined now by two people. One the brains behind that operation, behind VR Motorsport, and the managing director of Praga UK himself, Mr. Mark Harrison and Vincent Randall. How are you both doing? Very good, thank you. Yep. Great, nice no, introduction, Chippy. No, no. <laughs> thank you, Mark. <laughs> now, M Mark, this company, we're seeing from 2020, so incredibly successful this year, but it actually has a very esteemed history, doesn't it? Yeah, we've had a, a great year that's really raised the profile. It's been two or three good years, actually, with, with the cars being run by Vincent. Um, but the brand's actually 114 years old next year when we kick off the 2021 mm -hmm. season. So it's got a massive history and it's, um, it's got a history that covers classic cars, classic racing cars, classic motorcycles, trucks, tanks, fire engines, aeroplanes. Literally I mean, everything. It, literally everything. It's a real engineering focused business throughout its history. But it's, it, the last 10 years or so it's really focused on the racetrack. Um, not just racing cars but um, our KZ um, brand that we own as part of the Praga Karting Division, we've got a kart here, um, won a 2020 FIA World Championship this year um, and we're also racing the Dakar, so there's a Praga truck raced in Dakar this year and we'll be back again in Saudi Arabia next year. So huge expansion really of the business so over the years and um, but really today is more about the R1, um, the great racing car we've got that won the championship last year and over the past six, seven years we've honed um, the car into the, the car that won the championship last year. Um, so we're in a really good position in the UK. Um, it ha it's had race wins in, in Europe, in North America in recent years. 2019 was the most successful year for the car in North America. Um, and really that success is driven by, you can see really what, what drives that success. It's all carbon, body and chassis, honed aerodynamics you wouldn't believe. I mean, fantastic. I, I'm not nowhere near got the talent to, to prove that, but, but Jack, who we're speaking to later, will talk about that. Great power to weight ratio, uh, huge amount of downforce around corners in particular, and also all, that obviously makes it very safe, very drivable for relative novices, but also really experienced drivers, and crucially, easy to maintain and run. And, and that's been Vincent's job um, this year to do that. And I think Vincent will say a few words about that. but but. We, and the great thing is we can announce today that um, we've retained uh, Vincent and VR Motorsport services for, for moving forwards as our R1 dealer, but also a, a new role of racing services provider. So we're announcing that today, which I'm really pleased and proud about. And it's, it's testament to, to Vincent and the team he's developed, the skills he's developed through the season. And, and that was crucial to winning the championship. 
And actually, Vince, I'd like to touch on that if I can, because you guys are so incredibly successful this year, running these incredible prototype racing cars. I mean, you know, how did you just go about that? We've arranged the team in such a way that um, we're developing talent right through not only drivers, mm -hmm. but mechanics, um, the management structure of the team. So the good thing is about these cars is they are extra, they're easy to work on, they're easy to maintain, they're relatively low cost to maintain. So you've got a very high performance machine that is really delivering track times that GT3 cars really dream of. So in, in terms of the performance, the management of it, it's always easier managing something when you're winning. Absolutely. It'd be certainly more difficult if we were coming seventh or eighth or ninth or whatever. Um, but we've actually, over the last four years probably, developed the team in such a way that we can manage most small crises. And fortunately this year, with the reliability of the car, we've had no major crises. And if you don't mind me asking, your highlights of this year, you know, you've won this ridiculous trophy, which is massive, I've got to it, say, Vince. It is a good trophy. But if you had to pick some highlights out of the season, what, what would you say? A group of highlights. Winning the championship is obviously the best thing you can do. And for Danny and Jem to win it, they're the youngest ever winners of, of Brit Car. That's an amazing achievement for people who've come largely straight from karting. Um, we, but also just little moments, you know, Jack, Jack's podium at Snetterton in, in what was awful conditions. And also Warren, Warren and Martin's drive in, in the normally aspirated car uh, several times from the back of the grid to circumstances not really of their making was really entertaining throughout. So the, the, every race had something really good going for it. Yeah, no, thank you so much for that. And actually, we've, we've heard from both of you about this year now, but I think we're going to go into a quick video where we hear from some of the drivers from this year about how they got on in the car. So he started off racing VW Fun Cup straight out of karting. So we did three years of that. And then we just decided that uh, the Praga and the Brick Car Series was the perfect stepping stone. Yeah, so for us next season, we're going to be racing in the Brick Car Championship with Praga. Um, just me and my brother in the car. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to it. A fantastic championship with Brick Car. And then that added excitement of having uh, Praga own class in the championships can be fantastic. Next season, our, we, we want to stay with, with Praga. Um, we want to carry on racing under the VR banner. We want to be a part of the, of the upcoming... Uh, Praga Championship because um, I think our, our training this is this is what it was always intended for us why we chose the, the non-turbo car because we'd never driven an aero car before uh, we decided to use it as a training session this year to, to always the intention was always to step up to the turbo. We've always had in our minds uh, for next year to step into the turbo uh, firstly we've learned this car over the season and just want to go faster now and see what the turbo car can do. So to win overall my first ever car season is obviously an amazing thing for my career. I'd love to race for these guys again, I've really enjoyed it. It's just a brilliant car. It's quick, it's got its aero, it's light. It's just the ideal race car to be quite honest and their plans for next year should be very good. What a season. Now I'm joined by two incredibly fast racing drivers, one of which was in that video earlier I think in Jack Fabby and Charlie Martin. Thank you so much for joining us both. And Jack, if I start with you first, last year, an incredible season for you. What were your highlights? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, wow, uh, what a year. I think Alton Park was a good highlight of mine. You know, it was the first win that we had with the 84 car. Uh, a lot of hard work went into that one. You know, I was in the workshop for quite a few hours the week before trying to get the car ready. And then a lot of work over the weekend with me and Gary, but then to, uh, to go to the end of the season and that was Snetterton and you know to get the first pole for the car and then to also win the last race in pretty difficult conditions considering you know the fact that it started off dry, it rained in the middle, we were on wet and it dried again so um, you know a lot going on in that race and then to finish the year off exactly how I want to start next year with Charlie mm -hmm. was, it was brilliant and I think it, it's nice personally to, to have that sort of little victory. And also actually like you're mentioning him next year with Charlie, Charlie you've had an opportunity to drive the car now, what was it like for you when you were first out on it? Oh, just, just like a dream to be honest, I think for any driver to get in a car like this it, it's, it's, it's what you want, you know the car is, has so much performance which is very easy to access from the moment you get in it, you've got that fantastic central driving position, a great view out front, 
The car is super agile. You can just put it wherever you want. And I mean, yeah, I was, I was grinning from ear to ear, I think, the other day when I got out of it. <laughs> yeah, no, I absolutely Ben. I mean, Jack, talking on that, working with Charlie, she's really experienced for next year. You must be looking forward to what you guys can get done. Well, that's it for sure. You know, she's a super talented and very experienced driver. And I think the fact that, you know, we really contribute each other really well, um, it's kind of like a powerhouse of performance, I think, for next year. And, I, and, I, and I've almost had my hand on the trophy at the end of last year, but I, I think we should be pretty well off for next year. I think I'm going to coin that into a hashtag, Jack. <laughs> yeah, to be driving together, it's, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. And I, th I think Jack having that extra level of, of insight into the engineering and the, the setup and development of the car is just, uh, yeah, really, really cool. And um, Vince, an incredible season for you guys all year. And I mean, working with these incredible Praga cars and, you know, we can see the car behind there, the car here. Praga really, you know, setting up for a journey for drivers to move through. Absolutely. I mean, we did have an incredible 20, but my job is to look forward to 21. And we've got the opportunity here with having a carts division and a car division. I think that Praga are the only company to be manufacturing both, where young drivers can come through all the way through the karting ranks. Uh, Praga currently have a world champion in the karting, so cer certainly up there competitively wise. Um, and I th uh, we, we're trying to encourage as much diversity in the team as possible, whether that be drivers or mechanics or whatever. And actually, that's a great point. I think actually, Charlie, it's, it's Trans Awareness Week as far as I'm aware this week. It must be great to be working with a team. Yeah, so true. I think uh, you know, I'm, I'm so passionate about you know, trying to improve diversity in motorsport and to have a manufacturer like Praga recognising that fact and, and get, providing an opportunity to race with them is, uh, yeah, it's just it's really great to see right now and something we just want to see more of in motorsport. Yeah, I think I, I definitely sound for everyone in general. I think in most of all, when I say it's, we need to be doing better in general everywhere. And Jack, looking forward to next year with a new car, the new Praga. What do you think? Yeah, well, that's it. So I've, I've heard some, you know, kind of rumours here and there about it. And then, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I had a, a, a bundle of fun driving the 84 car this year. And I, and I, I do look forward to giving the, the new car a bit of a thrashing at the start of next year. No, no, thank you so much. And actually, we have an incredible video that was filmed where Charlie was last Thursday at Donington Park, where I believe Vincent was re-signed with Praga. So let's head over to that. We're at Donington Park today. This is day one for our 2021 Brick Car Endurance Category R1 Race Series. We've signed a new contract with Vincent Randall and, and VR Motorsport organisation. We've had a brilliant season with them in 2020. Yes, we won the championship, which was great, but actually it's, it's how the team works together with the drivers, uh, with the organisation, with Praga that, that really impressed me. VR Motorsport are really um, happy to announce that we've signed to be um, both Praga dealer and Praga's race service provider for 2021. The future for VR Motorsport and Praga is very exciting and very interesting. We have many cars planned for the grid for next year with some very interesting drivers and some very interesting driving combinations. It's one of the most exciting things about the, the Brick Car Praga category will be that not only will we have our paying drivers that are already with us racing Pragas, but we're bringing in what we're calling our guest driver programme and, and really to, to kickstart that activity and build the brand. And the headquarters in Prague has offered five cars to the UK that we can populate with high profile people who want to come into racing and that, that could be a mix of existing professional racing drivers that have a genuine popularity possibly outside of motor racing through their own personalities but also novice drivers from different backgrounds so the list of people we've got racing is a, is a great group of people that will add a huge amount of um, excitement and interest to, to the paddock. The benefit for us will be that we're working with people who will not only present the brand for us internationally, but also will bring something to the whole team. What I hope is that it's a, a fantastic mix of teammates or racing together and they're racing against each other, but actually in the pit lane at weekends, it should be a great buzz. Now we're going to take a look at next year's plans from Praga within Britcar, a dedicated Praga category. But not just that, we're going to take a look at the guest driver programme with Mark. And alongside Mark, we're joined by two incredible drivers that are going to be joining Praga next year on that guest driver programme in Miles Lacey and Jay Morton. Next year's going to be really exciting. It's, it's going to be a few thrills and spills, I'm sure. But um, uh, we, we're expecting around 24 drivers racing Pragas next season, 12 or 13 
R1s. We've worked very closely with Britcar to start developing what will be our own dedicated Praga category. So it worked very well within the Britcar Endurance Championship still, but we'll have our own category. Um, we'll have some of the existing drivers from this season will be joining us. We've got new drivers coming. We've got new teams joining us. Um, but also we've got what we're calling the guest driver programme that we're developing. And that's going to be um, probably five cars um, with, with our guest drivers. It will raise the profile of not just Praga, but also the Brit Car Endurance Championship itself. So it's, it's great news, we think, for, for us, but also for everybody racing in Brit Car. And the fundamental key point of that really is we've picked drivers, not, just, not necessarily just for their abilities, but for their attitude, because we want them to be part of a team. Teamwork at VR Motorsport and Praga is really important, and everybody we've selected, from both novices to experienced drivers, can bring in that team ethic and, and work with us um, next year. So, and those people being, as you said, Jay Mars and also Charlie Martin. Anna, Jay. Actually, if we start with you, from a slightly less experienced, I think, in most sport background, you've driven the car a few times now. What's it been like? Yeah, I drove it, I drove it for, the, um, for the first time last week. Uh, firstly, guys, apologies for not being able to get up to you guys. Um, but yeah, I've just been busy with a book launch. Um, but yeah, went out in the car last week. And, you know, the car is completely different to any car that I've been on track with. Um, and I've driven, you know, road cars and GT cars on track. Um, like I, I struggle to find the words to describe the feeling of driving the car, if I'm honest. It's completely different to, to anything I've driven before um, in, in, in a great way. Um, but like I have minimal experience driving on track and especially racing. So to be able to jump in the Praga and drive it straight, you know, straight off from, from having minimal experience is great. Um, you know, the car, you know, it was just, it was, it was fun to drive. But, you know, for me, like, you know, I can drive a car on track and I come away and I'm excited, right? I've got, got a bit of a buzz, um, but I'm not, yet, you know, it doesn't leave, leave me with the same excitement as when I go out in the Praga. Like, I took that thing around track um, up at, at Donington and, and the feeling you get from after you've been in the car, the, the sensation and the buzz, because, you know, it's loud, everything's on fire, like, it feels alive, which is, you know, way different to taking a car on track or a GT car. And actually, Miles, if we move to you quickly, from a much more experienced driver's point of view, you were there also on Thursday. What was that car like for you? So, yeah, it was a hell of an experience. First of all, for a supercar driver to be invited to the event, it was a first chance for us to actually drive this car. It was immense. You, you looking at the car from the outside thinking, OK, it looks quite intimidating, but that's soon all put to bed once you're in the car, um, which I think is fantastic for anybody who is an amateur or looking to get into racing. It's really not as intimidating as it, as it actually looks. I'm lucky enough over the last 10 years as a professional development driver to have driven anything and everything, you know, you name it, whether it's road cars or race cars. Very little cars, very, very little chance to drive things with aero, actually. So that was a little bit of a learning curve for me, I have to say. However, once you step through that barrier, the car delivered so much confidence. And what was really impressive, and Mark would agree to, to the same statement, I'm sure, Anyone that jumped out of the car just had this ridiculous grin on their face, didn't they? <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, including, including Jaya, we were, we were mixing around the paddock during the morning uh, and the afternoon. I was in and out of different cars. But the attention kept being drawn back to Praga, where everybody was just beaming getting out of this thing. So you've both had a chance to be around the team that's worked on the cars this year, been so successful. It must be really exciting going into next year for you guys. Yeah, there's an incredible team for Praga next year. Um, I've been lucky to meet uh, Warren and Martin, who are both ex-veterans uh, who are racing next year and uh, incredible drivers for Praga. Yeah, supercar drivers. Totally excited to be part of the team. They've been sponsoring them for the last 12 months following their journey. And the guest driver programme next year is just that next step. So the guest driver programme in 2021 sounds really exciting. Yeah, and that's not all. We will open our first Praga Cars UK headquarters right here. Can't confirm we're right here, is right now. And also the new R1 coming next year. I'm not the best person to talk to you about that car. We'll go to Alice Jurasek, our chief test driver over in Czech Republic to do that. So hello, I'm Alice Jurasek. I'm a, a Praga development driver and factory driver also for, uh, already for six years. And right, right now, I have a prodigium to drive the new R1 uh, on the racetrack, which is great uh, privilege for, for me and a uh, great opportunity. Uh, we have a new aerodynamic package, uh, which, feels, which feels, uh, very good. Uh, it's more stiff 
there are more options for the for making setup for all drivers, even for professional, even for for, for amateurs, uh, which feels great. Uh, there's a new fuel tank, the bigger one. So now we can increase the stint uh, longer, and uh, it's very good for endurance races and uh, for 24-hour races and and uh, this kind of of uh, endurance racing. Uh, we we finally have a front, big front headlights, uh, which will uh, which will help in uh, in the dark and in the night. So finally, we have the solution for for the dark uh, dark driving, which which is perfect. And uh, also, there's a new turbo system, uh, which is uh, perfect for for uh, for uh, making the power from from uh, slow corners, and uh, it it feels very good right now. So we are getting some mileage. Uh, there's after the measurable 2020, it's gonna be it's gonna be great really, great year in 2021. And um, finally, I'm happy that we can uh, looking forward to, to make something big because uh, big things coming. I'm pretty sure about it. That's 2021 is year of Praga. So 2021 looks like such an exciting season ahead for Praga. Now a massive thank you to Alesh, Jay, Miles, Vincent, Charlie, Jack and Mark for joining us today. And a big thanks for, to MSD Live again for making this possible. And finally to you guys at home for watching along with us. Thank you.